Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel. This is my basic journey. I'm currently at the Rob Jagger campground that I showed you guys in the last video. I'm going to White Sands today, if you guys are familiar with that. It's in New Mexico. It's a national park, so there is a fee to get in, but I'm willing to pay it because it looks freaking beautiful there. I just woke up and there's actually snow on the ground. It got so cold last night that it snowed. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to show you guys before I leave really quick because it does look really pretty. But I need to get out of here because this is too cold of weather for me. I grew up in Illinois where we get tons of snow every year and I'm just over it. But it does look pretty. So I'll show you guys before we head out of here. But I need to get out of this cold weather. <laughs> So I am making coffee this morning. Um, I almost didn't. I was like, eh, I'll get into town in about an hour and I can get a coffee, but I just, I need it. I spilled my first one. Meh. So my van makes that weird noise now when I start it and it's really cold out. I heard it first like, I don't know, a week ago when I was in Oklahoma, it was really cold overnight. And when I started my car, it made that sound. But then I got to warmer weather and it really didn't do that. And as you guys can hear now, after it warms up, you can't hear that. So I think I'm gonna take it in somewhere. I think it's the serpentine belt from my Google research, but I'm completely ignorant when it comes to car problems. So I don't know. If you guys know, you can let me know in the comments, but. I'm just gonna take it in somewhere and by the time this gets out I'll probably have already taken care of the issue but ugh, van props all right we ready to go got my coffee and we're off it's a cold one today guys I, I don't like it Look at all this snow I'm trying to avoid this <laughs> arrived. Sorry this lighting is really crazy right now but I made it to White Sands and right in the beginning they have a gift shop so if you guys know me you know I'm gonna go in I'm gonna look for a sticker <laughs> and then we're gonna head to the dunes. I am so excited it looks so pretty just from the road so let's go see if they have a cool sticker I can get and then we'll get in there. So here's the sticker and the pin that I got. It was $8 for both of them. 
Um, I like that my souvenir choices are cheap. <laughs> um, a lot of people get t-shirts, but I just don't wear them. So, Are you ready to go in the sand, Joe? He's like, I'm just ready to get out of the car, man. So I made it into the park and I'm just looking at my map here. We came in through the visitor center area and then I drove up a little bit and now I'm at this Dune Life Nature Trail section just somewhere to park really quick so I could look at the map and figure out what I want to do. It looks like it's just one loop and it just comes around and then you can exit again. And so I think we're just going to drive up here. It looks like pretty much everything you want to do is going to be in this area here. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to get out and let Joey walk around a little bit. He's been in the car for too long. Does anybody else's dog drink water like they've never drinking water before? We're at like 45 seconds of water drinking. <laughs> wow, he literally like almost drank that whole thing.
So we've actually driven around the whole park and I actually went around the loop a second time. We stopped at this picnic area that I saw earlier. I think I'm gonna make something to eat. I am really hungry right now. And I'm not really sure what else I should do here. Like we pretty much saw the entire thing and yeah, it's super cool, but it is just mounds of sand. And so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to make something to eat, and maybe after I eat, I'll feel a little bit more motivated to, like, explore more. We already went on a couple of the trails, and we did the boardwalk, and there's just a bunch of open space that you can, like, walk around on these sand dunes, and uh, it's kind of chilly outside. I don't know, and I'm pretty tired and hungry, so I think I just really need to just eat something. So I've actually been in the park for about three hours now, and I would have to say that's plenty of time to come and see everything. Unless you want to do some of the longer hikes, which they did have a five mile loop hike that you could do. However, that's not something I was up for today. It's pretty cold. It's like 40 degrees out right now, and I'm just not feeling like a five mile hike in 40 degree weather. I don't think Joey would be up for it either, though he's having tons of fun <laughs> playing in the sand. And it is really pretty and beautiful, but after a while it kind of all just kind of looks the same, <laughs> especially on a camera, you know, like to me I feel like everything just looks the same and after a while it's just kind of like bleh. So I think that after I'm done eating I am just going to head out of here and start heading towards my camp spot for the night, which is about an hour from here. I did have a lot of fun though, and it was only $15 to come and drive through here, which might be a little steep if, you know, you're only going to be staying for a couple hours, but I don't know, it was worth it. It was really, really pretty. So I would definitely come back maybe in warmer weather and be able to spend a little bit more time and maybe do some of the longer hikes, but I had so much fun and I hope you guys had fun too. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. Otherwise. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!